Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a continuation of the previous video. It's Caleb, and I am excited for this series to continue. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it, but if you're really enjoying it, I encourage you to check out my C programming crash course. I'm gonna have a link for you guys in the description. Go check that out if you wanna help out this channel and also just get all the goodies from this course condensed into one good solid course. So check that out. Um, by course, it's gonna be like one crash video, so. Um, yeah, it's gonna be sweet. All right, so far we have basically this algorithm to check if a number is prime. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna expand on this because we wanna take input from the user and we want to read, we wanna print all the primes from that number down to zero. So let me just write those out just so the, the requirements are very sim simple and easy to see. Get input from user. and then print all primes from that number down to zero. And actually, it just means down to two because two is the uh, lowest prime number. Okay, so I know we haven't talked about making our own functions, but I'm actually gonna do that in this video. And we're gonna have a dedicated video on how to create functions soon. So if you have no idea how to do that, that's okay, you can just copy my code and it'll help familiarize yourself when we get to that point. If you do know how to use functions, great. Then this shouldn't be too hard. Basically, this is the algorithm to check if a number is prime. It's completely suitable for a function. So we can make it more uh, re reusable. So to do that, we're going to go up outside of our main and we're just going to say int is prime. And I don't want it to be int actually, I want it to be bool. It's gonna return true or false. And then I'm going to take all this code in here and cut that and paste it right here. Now this input is actually going to come in as an as a very as a uh, argument, and we're going to create this parameter to store it. I guess is the technical way to say that. So int input, which means we can get rid of that line. We don't need this is prime variable because we can just return true or false. So if the number is prime. We just return false. Otherwise, we return true. So that should be our is prime number or our is prime function. We can test that out down here by saying, um, let's say bool prime, and then we run a test is prime number 25. Now I had an issue because I was trying to do this. Oops, I was trying to do this where the variable name and the function name were the same, and that's not gonna work. So just make sure you're careful um, and call your, func your function something different than the variable you're going to store the result in. So the way this is works, it'll call this function, and it's going to store true and false, true or false, in our prime variable. The rest should work the same, we just need to make sure we change that to prime. And now I'll compile and run and see if it works. Not prime. Also going to get rid of this printing statement. So it looks like it's working still. Let's try a number that is prime. Is prime, awesome, cool. All right, so now what are we gonna do? Let's work on the this part. So let's cut this and bring it down to the main function. The first thing, let's get some user input. There we go, that should be our input. And now what we wanna do is we wanna use a for loop. And get rid of that. And we're going to try every number from this number down to two. So we need to start at input. So we're gonna create an iterator and um, call that input. And then as long as i is greater than one, we want to keep running and, and uh, we're going to decrement i each time. i is going to be the, the number we're checking if it's prime or not. So this code in here, we can bring inside of our for loop because we're gonna execute that for every single number here. So bool prime equals is prime i. And we're going to print out that variable here. So we're gonna say percent %d and I'm not even gonna print anything if it's false, so actually I'm just gonna get rid of that. There we go. Okay, what do you wanna start with? Let's start with 25. Hey, hey, I think it's working. Let's bring this terminal up a little bit. 
So we, we put in 25. That's not prime, so it doesn't say anything. 24 is not prime. It's divisible by 2. 23 is prime. 22 is not. It's even. Uh, and so forth. Yeah, it seems to be working. So that is how you would create this little uh, application that was requested of four videos ago. <laughs> so hopefully that was helpful for you guys. The main thing to understand here is that um, obviously when you have something that's really reusable, we want to export that as a function. What? Oh, this is some weird indentation issue here. Um, that was really confusing me there for a minute. There we go. Okay, so anytime you have something repeatable, you can try to, to bring it out as a function just to make it a lot easier to read our code. Because originally I was trying to do this problem by just taking this code and putting it inside of this for loop, wherever this is prime was called, and it was just a disgusting mess. And I was like, ugh, I know we haven't talked about functions, but I'm gonna use one anyways. <laughs> so thank you guys, hopefully it was helpful. Please be sure to subscribe and definitely check out that crash course in the description below. Also, don't forget, I do have C notes, so go check those out as well. Thank you guys, see ya.